A news story broke on October 7th, a month before the Nevada Senate election between Sharon Angle and incumbent Senator Harry Reid. The story is that Sharon Angle's former church pastor said Mormonism is a cult. And if you don't know, Senator Harry Reid is Mormon. My guess is that it was Harry Reid's camp that provoked this October surprise story, as even this Mormon reporter notes, how else to best alienate Mormons so they won't vote for Sharon Angle? Which is kind of ironic because, for such a plan to work, Mormons would have to vote as a block, which is one of the characteristics of a cult. But let's ask this question. Is Mormonism a cult? Now, we all have some idea of what a cult is when someone else is trapped in one. You know it when you see it. Here Mr. Monk joins a cult, and we laugh. But no one who's in a cult knows they're in a cult. If they knew, they'd get out. So how can a person test if they're in a cult? Well, you can Google for cult checklist and find the secular characteristics of a cult. Let's focus on just a few of these items and see if Mormonism fits. The first item in the list is, the group is focused on a living leader to whom members display excessively zealous, unquestioning commitment. Now, if you're not Mormon, or if you don't live in Utah, you probably don't know who Thomas S. Monson is. He is the current living prophet of the Mormon Church. They say he speaks for God on earth. This next clip is from the Mormon Solemn Assembly, where Mormons take a vote to sustain their living prophet. It is proposed that we sustain Thomas Spencer Monson as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. All in favor, please indicate by the uplifted hand. Any opposed may so indicate. You may all be seated. Here's what other leaders say about their living leader. Thy chosen prophet, President Thomas S. Monson. Father, we love him, and we love his counselors. President Thomas S. Monson is his prophet and living oracle at this time. I want to add my witness of President Monson's prophetic call. So, is this group focused on a living leader to whom members display excessively zealous, unquestioning commitment? It's wrong to criticize leaders of the church, even if the criticism is true. I was told that I was not allowed to speak, discuss, write about anything to do with church history or church doctrine. I testify that Thomas S. Monson is God's prophet, a modern apostle with the keys of the kingdom in his hands.